details. And the details. In a story. In a story. Mir Sam. Mir Sam. Today we're going to listen to this story. And the title is The Very Cranky Bear. Hmm. Now, just by listening to that title and looking at the picture, can you make a prediction? A prediction is when we tell what we think might happen. So I want you to think inside your mind right now. Think, what do you think this story is going to be about? The very cranky bear. And with time pair share, one partner is talking for 20 seconds and the other partner is listening. Okay? So, and remember, we want to be a good listener. You know, if your partner's talking, should we play with our shoe? No. no. Should we pick up things off the floor? No. no. We should be sitting and looking and really listening to what they think this story is going to be about. Okay? Now, if you are a cat partner, you will go first. Okay? So, everybody had a few minutes to think. Cats, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, turn towards your dog partner and tell them what you think this story will be about. Go. Go. So, the bear is going to be very, very cranky. I thought that this bear was just going to be so mad that he wasn't going to talk to anybody. So, let's see what this story is about, okay? Make sure we're crisscross applesauce up here next to our mat. Ready? In the jingle, jangle, jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends found a perfect place to play. Now, Let's think about this for a second. Most of the time when we read a story, the plot will have a problem and a solution, right? Right now these animals have a problem. Their problem is they want somewhere dry and warm to play, but they can't because bear is cranky, right? So I want you to think right now, how would you solve this problem? How do you think we could solve this problem in the story? And we're going to use our timed round robin to do this, okay? So what's gonna happen? Remember with a timed round robin, one person gets to tell their ideas to the whole team. So that person gets to stand up, okay? And then when their turn's over, you'll sit back down and our next teammate will stand up. So this time I'm gonna start with the green cat. So I want everyone to think for just a few seconds, okay? How could we solve this problem? What do you think? It could be how you think the animals should solve the problem, or maybe it would be how you would solve the problem. But what, what, how do you think we could solve this problem right now in the story, okay? So when I say go, Green Cat will stand up, and you're going to tell your ideas to your team, okay? All right, Green Cats, go ahead and stand up. You have 20 seconds. Oh, Green Cat, please. And go. The animals are going to feel damaged because the stripes are going to really be able to make crazy. That's the way I got, I got, I like it. Good job. Now, are you ready to see if they solve this problem? Yes. Me too. If you're ready, fix your crisscross, hands in lap. Let's see what happens in this story. I'm excited to see. All right. So... Zebra fetched a tin of mud and lion some grass of gold. Moose got two big branches and sheep, well, sheep got cold. 